Chris Grundler is the head of the Office of Transportation and Air Quality at the U.S. EPA. Chris, the EPA recently came out with its TAR, to use the industry jargon, the technical assessment report. You're presenting here at the management briefing, briefing seminars on that. What's your message to the audience? The message to the audience is that uh, the industry has been innovating and bringing new technology to the marketplace at a pace that even you know, we did not expect just four years ago. Uh, the re results of this work, and it was a very rigorous work, uh, the TAR weighs in at 1,274 pages. That's a uh, lot of reading. It's a lot of reading. And uh, even more riveting. writing. It's, it's a great beach read, according to the New York Times. And, um, and what, what the report shows is that the automakers have multiple technology pathways to achieve these greenhouse gas standards out to 2025. And uh, our latest cost analysis based on teardown studies and uh, a lot of work with suppliers and OEMs suggests that they can achieve these standards at or, or less than what we predicted four years ago. And what's the next step? So now you've, you've come yeah. out with the TAR, you've put yes. it out there for everybody to read on the beach perhaps. This is the first the step of something we call a midterm evaluation of the out year standards, the 22 to 25 standards and will form the basis and the technical record for the administrator to make a determination as to whether or not those standards are still appropriate. So all the work over the last four years have been to support uh, that decision and we are now getting public comments on, uh, on this work uh, and we're going to continue to improve it of course and when the administrator makes that decision that will also be subject to another round of public comment. So this is, uh, this is not over yet and the public will have another chance to uh, review our work. Now when you say the public, I don't think, you know, uh, Joe and Sue America are calling on in to, to have reports on this. Well, I'm They're... expecting comments from you though. <laughs> I, I, I don't know is that I'm technically <laughs> competent to make those kinds of comments. Who uh, are you looking for to get inputs from? Well we certainly expect uh, comments from vehicle manufacturers, from tier one suppliers, from non-governmental non organizations, from state government, uh, the whole gamut of society. We've uh, been in touch with you know, veteran groups who care about uh, these issues. So we're expecting uh, a lot of interest in this report and a lot of interest in, in where the uh, administrator comes down with respect to are these standards uh, appropriate. Remember, the decision can go three ways. She can decide that you know, based on this record that the standards remain appropriate, and then we're done. Uh, or she could decide that they need to be made more stringent or less stringent, in which case then we'll go through a public notice and comment regulatory process to change the standards. How do you balance all that? Because you're going to get divergent views as to what should be done. But, you know, yeah. what's the strategy for coming up with the best decision? Well, that's what's so great about this job, is that uh, there is no simple answer, and it is a balancing act. Um, but the first question that I always ask myself is, you know, what is the science telling us? What does the data say? What does the law require? And then what's the right thing to do? I'm not the decider, I'm the recommender. Um, but uh, this TAR report is of such great interest to um, many people outside government. Uh, it's a page turner and uh, it's the first step. And then we will look at the comments and uh, we will develop options for the administrator. Uh, who needs to make a decision no later than April 2018, a final decision. But she'll make a proposed decision before then, and then we'll get public input on that again. So it's a multi-step process. Any inkling of how you might recommend? <laughs> uh, that's the $64,000 question. I, I will say, and, and we are pretty, again, transparent in, in, in the report, and when we released it, you know, we believe that the data show that there are multiple technology pathways to achieve these standards to, um, and at a cost uh, at or less than what we predicted four years ago. That's pretty good. Chris Grunler, thanks for giving us this quick snapshot of what's going on with the technical assessment report and the midterm review. Thank you for having me. It's fun. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. Working together, scientists and racing technicians study the impact of new lightweight materials. We look back and learn. 
so we understand a little better what's on the road ahead. This is the human element at work, Tao.